Hey, welcome back. This is Chef Emmy. We are here again in the Yuma Pro kitchen. Today we're going to make a Yuma Pro apple cider cheesecake. Now, I have chosen to take this recipe in a little bit of a different approach. I'm going to use individual little graham cracker crust tarts. You can buy them in the supermarket. They're already made. You don't have to worry about smashing down your graham crackers and trying to get it to stick. These are perfect. Now, if you don't want to do individuals, I think these are great because it's kind of a little bit of portion control. You can kind of monitor a little bit easier. You can buy the regular eight or nine inch graham cracker crust that's already made. That's fine if you'd rather go that route. The recipe is the same, has no bearing on any of the ingredients or the, the, the quantity of the ingredients. So, very simple. I took two eight ounce bars of cream cheese. Now, very important step. Take the cream cheese out of the refrigerator at least two or three hours before you're going to use it. You want it to soften up, otherwise it makes it real difficult to use the blender on it. To that, I've added one teaspoon of vanilla extract. That's optional. I know a lot of people don't like that flavor. I happen to love it, so I put it in there. Now, in here, I took one cup of water. I nuked it in the microwave for, I think, one minute. You don't need it any longer than that. Let it cool off for a few minutes. Add one packet of unflavored gelatin. Stir it up. I used one of those little wire whisks and kind of did that thing on there. Let it sit for about five minutes afterwards. So it kind of starts to get a little thick. Now, we're going to put this all together. Very simply, beat it with the, with the handheld blender. Or if you want to do a whisk by hand, that's fine. It'll take you a little bit longer though. Once we get everything together, it's going to be a very creamy consistency. We're then going to pour it in our cups. We're going to put it in the fridge, let it set at least three to four hours before you serve it. The one great thing about cheesecake is it's got to be cold. When it warms up, it loses that, that intensity. So we are going, now going to use this guy, and we're going to start. We're going to dig your, your tongs into the cream cheese so that it doesn't go flying, and please don't push this all the way up. Very just kind of break it up a little bit, makes it a little bit easier to work with. Now start incorporating the water with the gelatin. And very slowly. See how it's starting to liquefy and it's starting to come together. It's going to look like cream cheese for a few minutes there, but don't worry, that's what it's supposed to do. Now we're going to add our Yuma Pro. Three scoops of Yuma Pro in this recipe. If you like the flavor a little bit more intense and you want to add a little bit more protein to it, add another scoop. Play around with it. See how, see how much you like it. That's one. And two. I personally like it with three. The cream cheese really smooths out the Yuma Pro flavor. It's a great combination. So now all of our water is just about in. And we're just gonna, we're gonna beat this until it's combined and then we'll come back in a few seconds, we'll pour it in the cups and off into the fridge it goes. See you in a few minutes. Hey there, we are back. I have finished beating the cream cheese and Yuma Pro and gelatin mixture. It's now very silky and very smooth. So this is gonna form into a great cheesecake. Now, just start spooning in. See how nice and thick that is? That's the consistency you want. We're gonna start spooning them in a little bit at a time. Don't fill them up all the way. Just kinda of give them a little bit of breathing room because they will settle. And then in the fridge, like I said, at least three to four hours, you really want this to set up tight, just like a traditional cheese, cre um, cream cheese rather, cheesecake. Oh, I love these. these are great. You can always throw some fruit on top once it sets. It makes a great little fruit tart. I 
minutes the beginning of the recipe. There's no baking involved here. <laughs> so the oven doesn't have to go on, no extra pans to clean. This goes from here into the fridge and you're done. So in the meantime, you got three or four hours, let this sit. This is a great thing if you're having a party to make the night before. Put it in trays, put it in your refrigerator, you don't have to worry about it. So we're gonna now put these into the refrigerator, let them sit. And we will see you back here in a couple of hours and we'll take them back out and we'll go over all the nutritional info. So, see you in a little bit. Bye. Welcome back. We have finished up our pretty little Yuma Pro apple cider cheesecake tarts. I'm garnishing them with some berries. Please feel free to do so. Berries are so great. Raspberries, blueberries are loaded with vitamin C, gives great minerals, lots of fiber. You can't go wrong if you add a little fruit here and there. And I, they just taste so much better. So garnish them up, enjoy. You want to put strawberries? No, strawberries are loaded with vitamin C, so go for it. Now let's talk about the nutritional information we've got here. I got 10 nicely filled individual tarts. You're probably going to get around the same. Again, it depends if you put a little bit more water, a little bit less. But you'd also get the same thing in a 9-inch pie tin because this will fill it all the way up. So you'll probably get nine or 10 slices out of that also. So the, the nutritional breakdown is pretty much going to be the same. Per tart, we're at about 269 calories, which makes it a nice hearty meal. Of that, in with the protein, the total protein is about 13 grams per tart. Of that, 8.4 grams of that is Humapro, which is a nice shot of Humapro. It's just about a full serving. Now, carbohydrates were at 16.85, which is not bad. You need some of that sugar to get your, your, your metabolism going. And actually, it's not as high in sugar as you think. The graham crackers have about 15 grams of carbs per, and only six of that is actual sugar. So it's really not a lot of sugar to be concerned about. Fats were at 19.56 grams per tart. Now, some people might get a little nervous with that number, however, Cream cheese fat is very high in the omega fatty acids, and if you've been hearing the news lately, we know that omega fatty acids are very good for the heart and very good for the brain. So having a good dose of that every day is very healthy for you. It's actually good for brain function. So, and actually it's good for your joints too, so there's a lot of good stuff there. So make these up as you like. A lot of people had asked me when I was playing with this recipe, well, all right, what can you eat it with? It's, it's a little too heavy for a dessert maybe? No, it's not. If you're eating a very light meal, this is a great way to end off your meal. Personally, I think it's great for breakfast too, because the amount of protein that you're getting, it's just about two eggs. And the amount of fat, well, it's just about two eggs and maybe some butter on some toast. So there you go. Have a great little tart for breakfast. Put one in your lunch bag. Have one as a snack maybe when you're at the office. Keep you fueled throughout the whole day. So many great ways to use this. Enjoy the recipe. And again, please let me know how it's going. Emmy at Ed at ALRindustries.com. I'm more than happy to read your emails. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.